It's been a good, long, productive day. Thanks to Joe, the uh, we've got a, a core steering box for the uh, GMC, and she's back to rolling again. Got to fix some other stuff, but uh, she's still consistent. And this uh, video is not about a, a Chevy truck. It's about a gorgeous 64 and a half convertible with a crate motor. Uh, it's amazing because this is a crate motor. Actually, this is a crate motor that they must have put an old distributor in. That's what I'm thinking. It had to because this, this, this. I was informed by Howard that it's got about 200 miles on it. It's been very rarely driven, so it's barely even. It's not even really through breakthrough, break in, and <laughs> Joe's like. Hey, I'm the distributor king because he has been here for like a month and he's just constantly finding bad distributors. And again, restoring it, working on a classic car is a discovery process. So it tends to grow a little bit as we find these things. It's always a client's option to choose not to do it, but it would be ill-advised to not do what we find because it's problematic. So we're going to turn this around and show you an indicator of a bad distributor that's on this 64 and a half that's inside a new crate motor, which I find very interesting. So here it is, demonstrating a bad distributor that we have discovered. Just pulled the cap off. I was gonna put the different ignition system on it, the uh, per or Pertronics. Pertronics. And uh, just messing with the rotor. Let me move these out of the way. Yeah. Just turning the rotor and the, the advance is not working at all. Now we might be able to fix this. I could dissect it and see. We see what can, what's going on with it. But but um, that is not correct. It should be yeah. springing back. Yeah, it should be. It, I, if I turn it one way, it should spring back. The it should way. spring right back, and it's going nowhere, Howard, on this at all. It's not right. So uh, we need to deal with the distributor on your car and uh, get back to you know, what the situation is. Why it is not springing uh, back? You have no advance on your crate motor. It's got to be an old distributor. Yeah, I think so. So, a quick fix of putting a Protronics on is now looking into a distributor again. But the performance change is quite amazing. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's incredible. You know, when we find this and change this stuff, it's uh, you're gonna be happy we did it. All right, so that's the status on as we're getting ready to close out the day on Howard's 1964 and a half. I think we did like 15 to 16 videos today. It's been an incredible ah, day oh. at Mustang Medic, and uh, you want to say, it, Carlos? You gonna do the? <laughs> did you guys do the boom? It's a boom. Boom. It's a boom. And and Carlos has returned uh, Joe's snap-on tool. So what? so now oh my so God. now Joe is back to being happy with Carlos because it wasn't pretty for a little while over here. Oh. All right, Carlos, come on, get that steering arm off of that '66, man. Make this happen. We're about to close out the day. Good job getting the uh, other car up in the air. Good job, Carlos. Good day today. That's a whole other story. I'd like to say someday it would look like this, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Plus, this is a convertible anyway. <laughs>